Hi, this is Jimmy Minone, and today I'm going to show you some upgrades that I've done to my VST audio source separation software. Originally, all it was designed to do was to extract a portion of the stereo spectrum. So that would be anywhere between your left, center, and right uh, channels so that you could hear it by itself. Since then, I've added a subtraction algorithm as well so that you can actually subtract a piece of the stereo segment. That could be used for a lot of handy things. Now let's listen to some speech. Go. Both your ears. Both stereo sound extractor for popular choice. Both your ears. Both stereo sound extractor for popular choice. Okay, so if you've heard my previous video, you notice that speech sample has three people talking. There's a person over here on this side, um, somebody in the middle, and somebody to the right. Now what I'm going to do is I'll show you a quick extraction, but then I'll show you some subtraction as well. So let's start with the extraction. Go. Both your ears. Both stereo sounds for popular choice. Both your ears. Both stereo sounds for popular choice. Both with your ears. Both stereo sound instructor. Vote with your ears. Vote stereo sound instructor for popular choice. Vote with your ears. You passport after you ask them a question relevant to their project. Return your completed passport. Visit 15 senior design project. Each team will stamp your passport after you ask them a question relevant to their project. Return your completed passport. Send it back to black and bright colors. Great for message multi-color presentation for use on dry erase boards, glass, and most non -portable. dry erase markers, ten pack, two black and eight bright colors, great for message and multi-color presentation. Okay, so you get the gist of what this can do. Now let's go ahead and actually subtract voices. Go! Vote with your ears, vote with stereo sound exactly for popular choice, vote with your ears. I'm going to start by subtracting the middle voice so that you'll only hear the two gentlemen on the left and right. Go. Vote with your ears. Vote with stereo sound extractor for popular choice. Vote with your ears. Vote with stereo sound extractor for popular choice. Vote with your ears. Stereo sound extractor. Vote with your ears. Vote stereo sound extractor for popular choice. Vote with your ears. Vote stereo sound extractor for popular choice. Vote with your ears. Stereo sound extractor. Go. Vote with your ears. Vote stereo sound extractor for popular choice. Vote with your ears. Vote stereo sound extractor for popular choice. Okay, now I'll go ahead and subtract the voices from the right and the left. Vote with your ears. Vote stereo sound extractor for popular choice. Vote with your ears. Vote stereo sound extractor for popular choice. Vote with your ears. Vote stereo sound extractor. Vote with your ears. Vote stereo sound extractor for popular choice. Vote with your ears. Vote stereo sound extractor. Vote with your ears. Vote stereo sound extractor. This is quite a cool feature. And of course, it's also good for music. I'll, I'll do a couple little isolations and then I'll do some subtractions. So let's go ahead and start with some isolation. Let's take out the voice. So that's a pretty clean extraction of the voice. Now how about subtraction? Let's take a listen. I'm going to zero out some settings here. Why 
her voice is all but obliterated in the voice subtraction. What's interesting is that normally the low cut and the high cut will cut the lows and highs, respectively. In this case, what it actually helps to do is to retain the lows or the highs that are inherent in the signal. Let's take a listen and I'll play around with some of these settings. <laughs> So the level of fine tuning is just amazing. And what's also interesting is that this retains the left right panning positions of the signals that remain. That's where a lot of my work was spent, was retaining the integrity of the stereo signal, even when there's a source that has been subtracted. Let's subtract some other things. <laughs> So here I managed to obliterate the tambourine and the snare drum and what's left is just the kick drum which was this kind of electronic sounding kick drum which is over on the left hand side as well as the guitar. Now we notice the guitar on the left is pretty much decimated and we still have the kick drum and was able to go ahead and retain some of the bass guitar that got lost. This is also interesting for things like removing the bass, for example. <laughs> Here's what it would sound like with pretty much everything in the middle subtracted and only what is left on the sides. <laughs> So again, that's that's completely cutting the bass frequencies as well. So then we started losing the vocals. Now maybe we also might be able to completely key down the highs, see about retaining some of the vocals and removing the bass guitar. So that's great for like bass play along type tracks. So there's a lot of things that can be done with this. Note, there haven't been any changes up here, up in this section. However, I did add a reduced percussion. And what that does is that helps to eliminate some drum hits that are inherent in the voice. It works by smoothing some of the sounds. Generally what we would do is if we're doing a vocal isolation, for example, and the snare drum is interfering with the extracted vocal track, we would begin to increase the width even further, and this would help pull more of the vocal track. So it's quite a handy utility. I could actually go back through old songs that I've recorded with old bands where I don't have the master, only the stereo mix, or maybe live shows that we've done, and pull certain things out, change them and put them back in, remix it. Really good for surveillance where you want to take something out of the sound scene, say that you hear music playing in the middle and you want to hear the conversations going on in the left and the right channels, for example, pull out the music. So it opens up a whole new world of audio source separation. That's what I'm about. 
I can't get enough of this stuff. For further information, come on over and become a connection with me on LinkedIn.